and a ruler. So get those things out now. I'd like you to take your ruler and line it up at the very top of the page so it's nice and even. And then you're going to draw a line. And then, of course, in block letters, I'd like you to write up at the top of the page, one point perspective in block letters, like this. So you're going to write a number one, and continue on. You have to make your letters pretty skinny or else you'll run out of room because perspective is a long word. Next, I want you to draw a horizontal line right about in the middle of the page. So line your ruler up on the side so you can get a mostly straight line. And we call this the horizon line. Next, I want you to draw a big fat dot right about here in the middle. And we call this the vanishing point. Vanishing point. Now I like to make my vanishing point a little stick figure person, and I'll explain that why later. So let's start right up here and draw a square. And try and draw your square in the same spot about the same size as mine. Now what we're going to do is we're going to connect these corners to the vanishing point so that we can see the side and the bottom of the square. So imagine the vanishing point is you standing here looking up at this square. And what can you see from where you're standing? You can see here and you can see up underneath it. We also call this eye level. because this is right where your eyes are and this is what you can see. So you're going to connect this corner, this corner, and this corner to the vanishing point with your ruler. Now these lines have a name here too, and they are called orthogonal lines. Now we need to make the side of this box that we're making. And because this is straight up and down vertical, 
the side of the box needs to be straight up and down vertical. So I want you to take your ruler and line it up alongside here, even with the box, and then slide it over really straight. And because this starts and stops on these two orthogonal lines, the side of the box needs to start on the same two orthogonal lines. Sometimes I like to take my pencil and just shade in the side. It helps me to see it better. I'm doing it really quick and sloppy now because I don't want to bore you. So now we need to make the bottom of this box. And because this is nice and straight, this needs to be nice and straight. But you also need to keep in mind that this makes a corner. And so this needs to make a corner too. So I already know that it's going to be right about here. So now I'm going to take my ruler and I'm going to line it up to keep it nice and straight and parallel. And I'm going to scooch it down to that little mark I made right there. And I'm going to draw the bottom of the box. And then I'll shade it in because it helps me to see it a little bit better. If this was my actual one, I would be doing it a lot slower and neater. So things to keep in mind. Make the sides of your shape parallel with the original side. If you've got a corner, you need to have a corner on the side as well. Sometimes students will make this way up here and that's way too high. It needs to be, this needs to imitate and copy this. Okay, next let's do a square over here. So draw another square above eye level, above the horizon line. Try to make yours about the same size and location as mine. And can you see? Now I'm over, I, here I am my, at my eye level and I'm looking up at this box or up at this square. So I'm, now I'm going to be able to see this side and this bottom. So I'm going to be connecting this corner, this corner, and this corner. Why not this one? Because it would just go right through the box if I drew a line. So let's start at the corner. Line it up with the vanishing point. Drawing my orthogonal lines. You can see the cube starting to take place. So I'm going to make this side. And because it's straight up and down vertical, and it starts and stops on these two orthogonal lines, I'm going to take my ruler to keep it nice and straight, and I'm going to scooch it over and draw that line. So see how they start and stop on the same orthogonal line. I'm just shading it in really quick and sloppy. You're going to do yours neater. Now I've got the bottom of the box, which makes a corner right here. So I know I'm going to be making a nice straight line here, but because I have a corner, I need to make a corner here. So I'm going to just line up with my shape to keep it nice and straight. And I'm going to scooch it down till right where I made that little mark. And now I've got the bottom of my square. See how easy that is? So no matter where you put your box, anywhere on this page, it's always going to line up to the vanishing point or at your eye level what you can see. Now let's try and kick this up a notch and do something a little more complicated. Let's draw a square inside of this square. So it's got a hole in the middle. We can still see this up here, but now we're looking up inside and we can see this and this. So let's draw a line from this corner to the vanishing point, but we don't want to draw over our nice cube. So we're going to draw that line and then skip over so we don't mess up our drawing like this. And I want to see all of your orthogonal lines. So because I'm standing here and I'm looking up inside this box, I know that I can see up under here and I can see over here. So you're going to take this line and you're going to copy it. And I'm not going to use my ruler so you can see what I'm doing. See, now I can see up inside that part of the hole in the box. And now I can also see this side, and I know that because I'm pretending this is me looking up inside here. Now, because I have a corner here, I need to have a corner here. So I know it's going to be right there. And I want to keep it parallel with this. 
and then I'll shade it in so I can see it. See that? Now, let's try something even a little bit more complicated. Now I'd like you to draw a circle. Let's put that circle right here. Try to make yours about the same size and the same location on your paper. Now, circles don't have any corners, so how do we know where to line up our orthogonal lines? Well, we know that one end of the orthogonal line is going to end at the vanishing point, and the other end is going to hit the shape. So let's start with what we know. Let's start at the vanishing point, and then what you're going to do is you're going to slide your ruler till right where it barely touches your shape, and that's where you draw it. And this would be like the corner, right there where it first touches. So let's do the other side too. We know it's going to start at the vanishing point, so let's start there, and then slide your ruler till right when it barely touches, and that would be your corner, if this had a corner. So I know, because I'm standing here and I'm looking up at this shape, and my orthogonal lines tell me as well, that this is the part I can see. So this is the part that I want to copy. So I'm going to start right about here, and I want to try and make this just the same roundness as my original shape, like this. A lot of times students will make it straight across or they'll have like a corner right here. You want to make sure because the original shape is round that the copy is round. And then I'm going to shade that in because it just helps me to see it better. Now I'm doing it sloppy, but you're going to do it neater. Now what if this circle had a hole in it, like the letter O? So let's draw a big circle inside of our circle. Mine's kind of wobbly, that's okay. So because this is my vanishing point, I know this is where I'm looking, and I can see up underneath inside of here. So what I'm going to do is the same thing I did for the outside. I'm going to start at the vanishing point, and I'm going to slide it till right where it touches. And that's where I'm going to make a little mark. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to start at the vanishing point till right where it barely touches, and I'm going to make a mark. And these two orthogonal lines tell me that I can see what's in between them, which is this shape right here. And if this shape is wobbly, then what I make here needs to be the same amount of wobbly. So I'm going to start here, right where it touched, and I'm going to copy, and it's going to end right here. Okay. Next, let's try a letter below eye level or below the horizon line. So let's draw a big fat block letter T. This has a lot of corners that are going to go to the vanishing point. You've got one here, one here, one here. Here's a corner, but I'm not going to do it because it would go, it would go through the letter. And this one would go through the letter too, so I'm not going to do that one. This one would go through the letter, so I'm not going to do that one. But I am going to do this one. So now let's line up these four points to the vanishing point. So here I am standing here looking down at this letter T. Let's do this first. See, I have a nice straight up and down parallel uh, vertical line. It starts and stops on these two orthogonals, so it's going to be straight up and down like that. Let's do the top of the letter T. It needs to be straight like this. And because this makes a corner, this needs to make a corner. So I know. I'm going to start here so I make sure it's parallel, and I'm going to scooch it up to right where that corner is, like that. So we can't see very much of the top of that letter T. And I'm looking down so I can see this. And it needs to go straight up and down just like this does, like that. 
Let's try now. My light just turned off. Let's try now a letter V. So let's draw a letter V right here. Okay. So I'm going to line up this corner, this corner, this corner, this corner, and this corner. So let's connect those to our vanishing point. Oh, that one was a little off. There we go. Now, because I'm looking down at this letter V, I know I can see the top of it. So there's this. I can see here. I'm looking down inside of this letter V, so I know that I can see this side. And because I have a corner here, I need to have a corner here. So I want to make this nice, a nice diagonal that is parallel with the original line. And then I need to make this side. And because I have a corner here, I need to have a corner here. So I'm going to take my ruler here just to make sure. And I'm going to slide it over. So see how I had a corner? I have a corner on the, on the letter V, so the side of the letter V needs to have a corner as well. Let's try something even more complicated. Let's try a letter S. So I want you to draw a block letter S about the same size and location as on your paper as mine is. We've got corners and curves. So, and also we've got some shapes in the way of our orthogonal line. So I'll show you what I'm going to do with that. Let's start here. Because remember, I'm here and I'm looking down at this letter S. So this is the way my orthogonal lines are going to go. We'll start at the vanishing point and we'll slide it over till right where it touches that curve. Let's do the same thing on the outside. Start at the vanishing point. Slide it right till it touches. You can make a little mark right there. We've got a corner here. So let's line that up. Now, I don't want to mess up all of my shapes. So what I'm doing is I'm drawing my orthogonal line, but I skip over the shape so that I don't draw a line through my nice letter V. Okay, I've got a corner here. And I don't want to mess up my letter S or my shape, so I'm just going to skip over it like that so that you can still show your orthogonal lines without messing up your drawing. Uh, okay, we've got one more round shape we need to do right here. That's because I'm looking down inside of this letter S, so I need to make a mark right here. So let's start at the vanishing point and slide right till we touch that letter S. Okay, this is probably seeming very complicated right now, but don't worry. I'm going to walk you through it. So this orthogonal line, where it touches right here, shows me that I can see this part of the letter S. See? Between here and here. So I need to copy, visually copy, and paste that shape. See what I did there? I, I copied this, and then I pasted it here. Let's try this little corner. I might have missed it. Mm, barely. Okay. Throw that one in there. So I've got this and this. Oh, I forgot a spot right here. Let's start at our vanishing point and slide it right till it touches right here. S's are complicated, but you're probably going to need to make one. So what these orthogonal lines tell me is that I can see this spot right here. And since I've got a corner here, I need to have a corner here. 
And so now I'm going to visually copy and paste this shape. Now I have this orthogonal line and this orthogonal line that tell me that I can see from my vanishing point this. See it starts and stops here and I'm looking down. So now I need to visually copy and paste this shape. Like that. And there's my letter S. Let's do one more together. Let's do a letter X. Start by drawing a V and another V and another V and another V. So you got a letter X. Lots of corners. Let's line them up to the vanishing point. Am I going to do this one? Mm. No, can't see that. So I'm going to do this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. This one? No, it would just go right through my letter. And this one is a no as well. So let's start here see I've got this shape this line right here in between these two orthogonal lines so I need to copy it and paste it and I make sure that it starts and stops on the same two orthogonal lines now I've got a corner here so I'm gonna have a corner here and I need to copy and paste this I'm going to use my ruler for that one to make sure I get it right. I've got a corner here, so I need to have a corner here. See? Corner, corner. And the last part is going to be right here because I'm looking down and I can see this. So I want to keep it parallel, scooch it up like that. Now what you're going to do, you are going to add another shape of your choice here and another shape of your choice here. And if you can squeeze one in, another little shape right here. Let's do that. One, two, three more shapes of your choice, even if you want to repeat some of those up there. And then over here, I want you to do four more letters. So you're going to do one, two, three more shapes. I just wrote, I just put those circles there to show where you're going to put them. And then in this space right here, you're going to do four more letters. In this space right here. I would also like to make sure that you label your vanishing point. I want you to label that this is the horizon line, also known as the eye level. And I would also like you to label like this and just point to one orthogonal.